everybody. So we're all dressed up and ready to go. Uh, we're going over to the boardwalk to have a little look around there. And then we've got a dining reservation at the... Island Compass. Island Compass. So we'll see you there. <laughs> We have officially arrived onto the boardwalk now. It's so nice. And it is really nice here, isn't it? Yeah. So these stairs just straight up ahead, go straight up the side there, takes you right to the entrance. Yeah, near the entrance. But we decided to come through the top level, which is through there, walk across and down the stairs so we can get some AC. Yeah, but also it's so nice inside. You, just, you want to go and have a look inside. It's amazing. You don't want to cut corners. We love it here. This is the most beautiful resort. Plus, we'll get to see sugared almonds from here. <laughs> hey, sugar uh, pecans. 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 Hello, Hi. hello. Hey, uh, just make sure it's a normal empty envelope, something you'd mail later with. Okay, Daniel, you're thinking of a thing, right? Okay, whatever you're thinking of, I'm heavy draw it right here, really big. Okay? okay. You don't have to be Da Vinci or Van Gogh. You look scared when I said that. <laughs> if you got to think of something easier to draw, you can do that too. That's fine. But whatever it is, just real big right there. When you're done, put the lid back on the marker, turn the drawing face down so I can't tell what it is. Okay. Come with me, Daniel. You can use this table right here. Just nice and big right there. Go for it. Uh, Danielle, I'm trying to figure out what it is that you're thinking of. Here's how I do it. I'm just going to ask simple questions. Do you have one of these things? Yeah. Wow, that was a bit... See how she answered? Yeah. Like, it was very obvious. Like, of course. Yeah. Uh, can you buy it at a store? No. Okay. Very definite again. Uh, let me see your hand like this, please. Other side? Hmm. Not as helpful as I thought. Okay. Uh, ooh, does it smell funny? Does it have an aroma of some kind? No? Okay. Rules out farts. My next guess. <laughs> Where are you from? I know exactly what this is. Sorry, that was four questions. I just needed to know, to be sure. You just hold on to that, don't look at it, just keep it right there. James, you've been holding on the envelope, right? No one grabbed it from you, no one looked inside, no one whispered into my ear what's in there. Okay, good, it's just the voices in my head, apparently. <laughs> I'll take this. Take a sneak peek, did I do okay? Yeah. You guys hold up, let everybody see. What did you draw? A heart? Oh, there it is right there. Take all that, hang it on your fridge, and people will ask you questions. How did he do that? I have no idea what to do with that stuff. I swear he's got like a secret camera. Maybe, maybe that could. Welcome to the show. If you just joined us, my name's Clark Denny. You know, I need two people to help me out right now. That's what I need. Two people. All the yeah. good go up. Ooh, double yeah, What's your name? We're Michael? in the magic circle, oh, we are, aren't we? Mike. I'm so sorry. That was... And when one guy finishes, or one person finishes, there's another one. <laughs> so, we're going to have to move on round now, because we're dining just over there at the Yacht Club. You having fun? Yeah. Ducks are so confident here, aren't they? Yeah, Everyone that's because... Must feed them. That's because there's nice people that come to the boardwalk. That's it. Disney Bunny. Hey bunny. Munching on the grass. Come on, because we're going to be late for dinner. So here's a campfire going on for the beach club. We missed it. We missed it, but look, they're toasting marshmallows. And then they do movies on the, ba on the beach. Yes, what are they watching today? Christopher Robin. Awesome. We would have stopped and yeah, had a quick marshmallow, but... Dinner, haven't we? Welcome to the Yacht Club. This is, <laughs> wow, really nice, isn't it, Lou? lovely. Kind of reminds me of like Hall of Presidents. Is it Hall of Pre Presidents? Yeah, they've got some cleaning in progress at the minute. So they've got some sort of see-through scrims up. But it looks like they're doing some work in here. What's that? Oh, it's a check-in desk. Being doing some work. Wow. Okay, so we've come in from the boardwalk across there and we've walked all the way around the lake come through the main entrance so you turn right and this is where you end up and this is your entrance here to the Allen Compass restaurant 
but also just the left hand side of the main restaurant entrance there is an Allen Compass Lounge. And this is where you can come and relax. And look at this, you've got the wine racks on the right hand side. This is our table. Wow. And so Mr. Abraham is our server and he's just there and he's just brought around a couple of ice waters. And they're really nice ice waters, I will ask. Yes. He's, he's, just, normal, he's just introduced himself and we've got a wine list on the table. So let's take a quick look at that. Now I am going to make a guess which one I think Lely might be going for. And just before I do that, so on the left hand side, you've got the price per glass, and on the right hand side is the price per bottle. So I think Lely will be going for this one. It's only given the price of the bottle. So we will see if they give you a price for the glass. Oh, what? So you know. Yep, yeah, I thought you'd go for that. $65 So Mr. Abraham is just behind you if you ask him when he comes back. And unfortunately they only sell it by the bottle. <laughs> so And I don't want to be carried out here. So looking at the starters, Lily is going to go for the crab cake and I'm going to go for the roasted garlic shrimp. So Lely is going to go for the New England seafood pot pie. We've got shrimp, shrimp, scallops, jumbo, lump crab, sustainable catch of the day with baby carrots, pearl onions, beef, potatoes, crustacean cream with a flaky crust. But I'm going to go for the short rib but instead of having it on the roasted vegetable mash and barbecue demi we're actually going to have the short rib on top of the pasta and that was recommendation by our server so we've got house made for capture bread here and we've got the garlic prawns lemon but it smells absolutely delicious what have you gone for Lenny? so I went for the crab cake what do you think? that was really nice we did a bit for a bit so I think yours was nicer than mine Personally. Yeah. That's what I think. That was just because you preferred this dish, didn't you? You wanted to try something new with the crabs. But yeah, mine was absolutely delicious. And yeah, I used my bread to mop up all the garlic juice. If you like garlic, then this is right up your street. Delicious. And they've also brought out my alcohol free strawberry daiquiri. Oh, look at the on top. You can have that, darling. You can have that. No, you have it. Okay. There we are, took persuasion there, twisted your arm. Ooh. Nice. Did it taste like cherry? Mm, funny enough. Look at this beautiful dish. You can smell the parmesan cheese on there. Looks really nice. They give me an extra spoon for me dagalatelli. Dagalatelli. Yeah, it smells really nice. They've got the short rib in there as well. But look at this huge pie. Need to cut into it and see what it looks like. You could probably just lift it off. <laughs> it's gonna lift a part of it off. Oh, I don't want to lift the whole thing off. <laughs> and that's got Oyster, lab, lobster, clams, prawns, fish of the day. It's basically a fish pie. Potato, vegetables. Oh, a bit of celery in there. Oh. Oh. The main thing is, does it taste nice? I just smell mine and it's just so rich. It really is. Oh, I need to get into this. Okay, we're going to get stuck in. See you in a bit. So overall you're really pleased with it, wasn't you? That pie, I have to say, it, it is the best pie I've ever eaten. It's so lovely. Really, Very really rich. nice fish, fish pie. It's delicious. Mine was awesome too. I've had the bill, so what you've seen is what we've eaten. 
and it's come to 108 bucks. We always tip 20% for good service on Disney. So, that is our meal here at the Ale and Compass. Right, we're going to try and get you some footage from Epcot's Illuminations. Let's go. Super, super loud. Oh, I love it so much. What do you think? Oh, it's so good. We keep Even asking ourselves. It's so good. We keep asking ourselves why have we not got a two-week Disney pass or an annual pass? No, but we had to do adult stuff. <laughs> so if you're ever in the boardwalk area, definitely come and take a look at the Epcot Illuminations. Yeah. And just to give you guys an understanding of how quiet it is here. Bridge is practically empty. <laughs> So it's definitely a good place to come. Yeah. Right, should we go and check out some more bits on the boardwalk? Yeah, Let's go. So even on camera, Lely was just saying that this still looks so beautiful. And sometimes camera doesn't do it justice, but this really does look good. I just want to point out, so over here, well, I'm just going to try and get my finger in. So <laughs> over here, we've got the yacht club. And over here, we've got the beach club. And they are currently got a cinema set up, a inflatable cinema set up, and they're watching Christopher Robin. Christopher Robin! <laughs> so you can have some novelty photos done and in the photo booths. And Very old school. I don't know if it's free if you've got photo pass or whether you still have to pay, but it does have a magic band reader. Is it included in the photo no, pass? I think it is. Ah, so it's including photo so pass. Photo pass service. But I don't know if you actually get a printout unless you pay $5. Ample Hills Creamery. We were planning to have pudding here, wasn't we? But. Huh? We'll fill up. Oh, I can squeeze a little scoop in. Come on then. <laughs> wow. So you can get a four pack ice cream cookies. For 20 oh, bucks. Let's just open up so we get a better look. And smell. So these are 20 bucks, oh, or these good. are $12. Oh, what are you going to go for, Lely? You're going to go for all these flavours. Can I try some of that, please? This one? Yes, please, yeah. Ah. My God, so good. There you are. Thank you very much. Sure. That's so good. Okay, so with the all the pretzels, Ritz crackers and potato chips. Thank you. Oh, okay. Taste it though. It's a lot better than it sounds. It's my favorite one. Come on. See, I love the sweet and salty thing. Yeah. You want to taste it too? Yes. Yes. I got nothing. So the lady in there, I'm sure her name's Ivy. Ivy. Yes. You she must was go awesome. and see Ivy. She's so lovely. Literally, in the creamery there. You can taste whatever, it's unlimited tasters. Of course, don't take the Mickey, but you can go in there and if you really want to try some, you can go and try some. It's got graham crackers, pretzels, and crisps or chips in it. And it's just so nice. I really like the combination of like the sweet and savory, so I'm someone that will eat chocolate before eating crisps. So, because I like the sweet and salty flavour, this is just the one. Like, you need to try this one, it's amazing. Um, we'll insert a picture now of the label of what it is. <laughs> I think I'm in love. Roasted almonds or pecans. Yes. Hi. Hi. Just soaking up the atmosphere. And Lily, okay. look what I brought. I know. I said to so, didn't I? I said, don't forget to pick up your pizza. Can you put these in your bag though? I can. Because um, I'm so full up, I can't eat them at the minute. No, me too. They're not going to be warm. I think what would be interesting to take a look at is this bar here. It's a magician's bar. Are they doing magic tricks in there? Well, it looks very magical in there. And it's got like 
the red velvet drapes and stuff. I just think it's an interesting one to have a look at. Okay, let's take a look inside the Abracadabra bar. Abra, Abracadabra. I'm gonna reach out and grab you. Magician's Lounge. But we are part of the inner magical circle. <laughs> Magic circle. Sort of my ankle, in the ankle. We are part of the magic circle, the magic so circle. what do we do? Grab a quick drink? Yeah. Let's go. Awesome, awesome. So it's really nicely themed in here, isn't it? Gorgeous, I love it. Like this wallpaper, I don't even think you could buy it. It's so quirky and I love that wall over there with all the old school like memorabilia of, of magic. You've got like ventriloquist dolls, um, you've just got like cards and, and uh, wands and the, the um, paper flowers, you know they always pull out their sleeve, pull out the sleeve like paper flowers. Where's the pigeon? Yeah, no, it's a dove, not a pigeon. <laughs> but just through the stage door, which is just there, that actually takes you to the Flying Fish restaurant. So, yeah, it's pretty good. Behind me is um, the facilities, and it smells like uh, purple violets in the toilet. <laughs> I walked in, I was like, quite smells so nice in it, so weird. <laughs> I've gone to the toilet and now I'm hungry. Yeah. So, we've just had a look at the Abracadabra bar book. Menu, yeah. um, but they've got some. They've got truffle fries. Yeah, they've got some appetizers here and they've got some truffle fries. They've got calamari and flatbreads. But we have gone for a handcrafted cocktail, a seashore sweet, which is basically cotton candy lemonade. We're really looking forward to this, aren't we? Yeah, we're going alcohol free. Yeah. Alcohol free, baby. Ah, oh, look, this gentleman, he's got it here already. Thank you very much. Wow. I was not expecting to be this colour. <laughs> when you hear cotton candy, you straight away assume it's going to be pink. I'm sure I've had this before. Yeah, it's good. It really gets your taste buds tingling because it's really, really sharp. Like, because it's proper lemonade. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So, for those of you who haven't been to Florida before or the States, lemonade in the States is actually flat. flat. Very, very fresh, sharp lemonade. When you first drink it, you're like, oh, this is not Sprite. What is this? But then after a while, you get used to it and you really like it. Boardwalk food today. Yeah, you'll never go hungry on a boardwalk, that is for sure. Yeah, we've got Can't hot dogs, french fries, corn dogs, peanut butter and jam, and uh, fried potato chips, mozzarella sticks, mac and cheese bites. Um, and then they do like cheeseburgers, pulled pork sandwiches, grilled cheese sandwiches, chicken nuggets, chicken wings, loaded boardwalk chips, drinks, milkshakes, water. They do a lot. They do, yeah. lots of, they do a lot. lots of food. Lots of snacks. So, just to show you guys the... Hang on. What? Abracadabra. Abracadabra. We've yeah. been calling it wrong. We've been calling it Abracadabra. I think it's supposed to be a take on Abracadabra. <laughs> so, bar. we've been calling it the wrong thing. It's actually the Abracadabra. Okay. Well, either way, it's amazing. We like it in there. So that is where I said you walk through the stage door and you end up in the flying fish. Yeah. Which is amazing. Yeah. Something's empty. Where's the Surrey bikes? Oh. So we rode them l last year when we came, didn't yeah. we? And we had a ball on them, an absolute ball. <laughs> we had a great time. It was so fun. It's $25 for half an hour and one lap's 15 minutes roughly and we done two laps, that was a half an hour and the guy was like, just go, keep going round. Go again, go again. <laughs> but I'll insert a link down below in the comments for 
um, for that video if you want to watch it. I was calling it the Broadwalk by accident, so. <laughs> but um, yeah, apparently they store them over here somewhere. I asked a cast member and they said they store them out there around the back, but they were. Because they close at 10, don't they? It's gone 11 now. Yeah, close at 10 o'clock. Yeah. And they reopen in the morning at half eight. You want to get your early morning exercise? <laughs> See if you can beat our three laps. <laughs> <laughs> Three laps in 20 minutes. <laughs> we win. Yeah. That penny farthing. Penny farthing. Do you reckon you could ride one of them? Um, no. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I love this. Was it a... It's a little light up Mickey key ring. Awesome. And look, they've got a new one for the horseman. Headless Horseman. $22. It's like a tree decoration, isn't it? Yeah, we got ours for, I think, five bucks. And ours, the little head lit up, and the eyes on the pony lit up as well. Ours was just a straw yeah, like key ring, wasn't it? Yeah. But that's a tree ornament. Yeah. They've got some lovely boardwalk clothing here. This is what I saw earlier that made me think of you. Because it's, um, it's Mickey and Minnie on the Surrey bikes and it made me think of when we was here on ours. Should we get it? It's nice, isn't it? Oh, wow. Isn't that so nice? How much is it? How cute is that, though? I love his hat, the detail on his hat. Do you want to see how much he is? Yeah. I don't know how I'll get it home. I think I totally would have taken him home. So we need to bring you up to speed. So we're the last people out of the shop and we almost made a big purchase and we don't very often make a big disney purchase that we both agree on and say oh it's lovely but that was that mickey on the carousel horse it was 130 dollars and we were really happy to pay 130 dollars for it because we just think it's lovely but the size of the box was like that it was I mean, yeah there's no way we'd have got him home would we in one piece and that with that size we would have just been worried. We, we could have probably done it, but we would have been worried. Are we going to fit him in without getting damaged? So yeah, definitely. We could have had him shipped for 50 bucks, but then we thought $180. Yeah, we'd rather it. spend it on another souvenir yeah. to bring home. So. Yeah. so we'll keep looking. We'll find something for our new home. So, yeah. Right. Let's we'll, um, we'll take a little walk up here just to... The, the dance hall and then we'll probably start making our way out. Yeah, most places are shutting up now, except for the bars, but most places are shutting up now because it's coming towards the end of the night now. There's, um, it's like a uh, like little amusement oh. and stuff yeah. here. So this is Jelly Rolls and um, this is uh, like a live entertainment bar with two pianists. Uh, normally it's $15 each to go in, but it starts at eight o'clock until one, I think he said. Um, and um, he said that we could pop in, so I will insert the footage now. Right, we're going to bring the, the night to a close, or we're going to bring this vlog to a close now. But just before we do, it's going to point out Epcot. Spaceship Earth is lit up. Looks really nice. So lovely. We've had a good date night, haven't we? Yeah, it's been really nice here. Such a lovely, lovely resort to come and pop and have something to eat and have a little mooch around with some ice cream. Something for all the taste buds, isn't there? Definitely. And if you do come, please make sure you come and see Ivy at the ice cream shop. She was wicked. Yeah, she's really good. Very, very attentive. Right, let's start heading out. I'm tired. We're back at the Point Hotel Resort, and that's it from us. Thanks for watching. Okay.